Hi everyone. Today we will create our lives control and make it a Unity package so we can use it anywhere. Basically, this is what we will make. In our lives container, we have lives, the life object, which is our sphere right here. Eh, sorry, I mean our rectangle right here as our health bar and the spacing, life width and height, etc. And when lose lives, it will lose one life and update the UI. And if game over, right now we will set it as preset, just like that. Also, there's a reset button. If we lose three lives and we just want to reset the game, let's say, just press reset and it will become full again. And we will create the unity package like this so we can use it anywhere okay now let us create new project and just use 3d urp let's say we're making lives container create project and let's wait Okay, now we are on our project. Let's remove that we didn't need, which means all of them except the main camera. And we do not care about this. Let's create our canvas. UI canvas. Double click it and we want to see it in two dimension like this. So this is our canvas. Now let's create our lives container. So right click in canvas, then create empty, name it lives container. And you can see this, our lives container here. We want to position it at top right. I have created a video just for this. So you won't have confused about anchor and pivot. Please watch it first before continuing this, so it will be easy. Okay, because we want to set the anchor to be on the top right, we can set this by clicking this and press this one or just set the anchor. But we're using the easy way right here. Just do this. So the anchor is moving, right? But the position is not. So to set the position, Press Alt, click it, and it's moving here. Okay. Now we are still on pivot 0.5 and 0.5. And why it's on the top right? It's because the position X and position Y is minus 50. Let's see if we change it to 0. Now you can see the pivot is in the middle of the object. So we can change the pivot to like this. And change the position back to zero because it's auto calculated. And remember, you can always use this and then press shift to set the pivot to. But I'm using the hard way to let you know that there's another way to set this. That's why I think it's important if you watch the previous video first. Okay, now we have positioned our layout in here and then I want a margin about 20 pixel, but it's going up and to the right. So we put the minus in front of here. There you go. Right now it's empty and we want to put our lives in here. Um, okay, let's create our lives first. Click the 3D object and then mm, use plane, I think. Oh, sorry, wait. So right click on canvas, UI and then 
maybe using raw image yeah like this we can change it whatever we want later so we are creating the system right now and here we can change the color to here okay so what we want is our lives is positioning positioning right here right here and right here right if it if we're using three lives so let's put it inside the lives container and do this three times remember we are just prototyping right now so it doesn't matter and in the container we can use horizontal grid layout oh i mean horizontal layout group and it automatically creating this see this is first index second index third index but this is not what we want but still let's use this get back to our lives container now we will make it to the left not to the right why is it going to the right it's because the width of the container only 100 and we have three objects and it's pushing the object to the right because of it let's see if we are changing this into 300 it's normal right oh i forgot to tell you that raw image width and height is set to 100 right now that's why we are setting the width 300 but this is where we didn't use any margin or padding at all we want to separate these three lives right so in the lives container scroll it down and here there's spacing let's set it into 20. okay now we have a margin or spacing but it's going to the right again it's because it's pushing to the right because the width is not enough we're adding two spaces here so it will become 40 and if we plus this it become 340 and we got our layout back are you following me right now if you have any question please ask in the comment section i will try to explain this more carefully Okay, let's continue so this is our prototype let's say we have three lives then we count it three two one right because this is the index uh sorry the right index is zero two two but we will count it as one two and three but if you see here one is from the left and three is the right uh, we want to be reverse this it's because in the programming we will count our lives as three right and when we want to remove this life we start from the higher index that's why we want to remove this first let's reverse it again get back to our lives container and in our horizontal layout group there's a parameter named reverse arrangement if you click this it will change the arrangement like this see this is exactly what we want now our prototype is done let's create our script go to our lives container create the script I'm um, sorry I think I will make it smaller so we have more space here and now create component name lives mm, lives control maybe let's using this name right now it's creating our script and let's open it okay now we are inside our lives control what do we do now um i think we will not use the update function so i will remove this 
and now let's create variable um, like usual we have lives so we need to set our current lives right i mean our maximum lives so create private in lives yeah three whoa the ai know what i want but we need to disable this okay No using serialized field, so we can set it from the Unity editor. Okay, let's check it first. See, now we have parameters to set. And what we want to do here, first we need to define our lives component. I mean here, our three red box. This is our lives. So we we'll create the private game object life object prefab. Let's name it like that. And also set it as serialized field. And what we want to do is when the game is starting, we need to populate this, right? We need to instantiate this object. Okay, so the first time we need to do is loop this true for in i equals zero i smaller than lives i plus plus just use a loop. And here we need to instantiate our game object. Let's name it. Um, live object instance will instantiate our live object prefab. Okay, when it's done, oh no, let's not continue. So you will know what happened in the editor right now. Let's do this. Okay. Set our prefab, so we need to save this live uh, this live object as prefab first. Just drag it into our assets and name it live. Our lives live. I think live. It's okay. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. And again, get back to the lives container. Put our prefab there, and let's try. See in the, the editor, okay? When I press start, it will create three lives. The position is so bad. So we need to assign this to our lives container, right? Okay, let's do that. How to set parent of the life object instance? Basically, our lives control is on our live container so this is the parent right okay set it live object instance dot transform dot parent equals transform which is this current object where this current object lives okay i want to tell you first that this is the wrong way but still i want to show it to you Get back to the Unity. Mm, because we already set it as prefab, let's remove this. So it will empty the lives container. Let's start. Now it's creating our object, okay? And this is fine. It's all because accident, okay? You need to know that because Actually, it will become mess if we set it something not right. Um, let's try. This is our live prefab. Open it. How to make it not right? I don't even know. Anyway. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Mm, okay, okay. Let's see. The problem is in our code. 
here. Don't use this really because it will mess up sometimes. I get it working by accident actually. So don't follow this, but use this one. Dot set parent transform. Why is that? Because actually it's calculating the anchor pivot width and height position and everything so when accident happen it will mess up the scale of the object by using this method that unity already provide to us it set all of that without us knowing okay i hope it's quite clear and if yes we will continue and if no, please let me know in the comment section so I will explain it to you better. Okay, let's continue. Right now, we are just instantiate the object, but we can't track it, right? For example, if I remove one lives from this, how do I disable this? I can't even revert to this object that created, right? That's why we need to store it in array. Let's create our array. Private game object. Let's name it life object. So when we instantiate this, we put it into the life object equals to life object instance. And now we set it right here. Like this. Hmm. Ah. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting one more thing. On set parent, there's one more parameter here. That is world position stays. See, if true parent relative position, scale, and rotation are modified such that the, the object keeps the same world space position, rotation, and scale as before. Um, the problem is sometimes this is also the one that messed up so we need to set it as false for this kind of thing under the hood again this is calculating like magic <laughs> if you're interested what happened inside this function please let me know i will try to make a video about that so you won't have to confuse about it again okay let's get back to our goal before track the object right now we have the left object first again let's see if it's working nope it can't work let's see now reference exception at life con life's control row 17 here okay basically because we didn't initialize our array let's do that life object is new game object array and total of the array is lives now we have it and i'm sure it's working now see it's good now we have tracked all of that let's try to reduce the lives create a button for this right click ui and go to the button yeah just import the tmp cause that set the text to lose lives remember we don't care about this button at all okay this is just for testing our life container and here we can create our function public remember to put public void lose life okay now it's confusing right how do we know our current lives right we don't do that yet so Let's create it. Private int current lives. 
equals to zero and d start point we set the current lives equals to lives so when it lose lives the current lives minus by one and remember the array index it start from zero so we have life object zero one and two the current lives equals to lives means it's starting from three here therefore we need to minus this current lives first and then access our lives object there's a couple of way to do this um, let's say you can destroy the object but it's not a good way because we need to reset the lives okay so it's not good to instantiate it again and remove it again not to mention you must remove all the gap object when you need to reset the lives because remember this is our array we store life object in here and we need to destroy our lives objects inside our parent here uh, if you don't understand see this editor our code is tracking our lives right but the component created inside this lives container is not removed automatically so if we use the destroy method when we lose this life and we need to reset the game restarting the lives to three again then we need to basically reset everything right so we need to remove all the life component inside the lives container so that's messed up okay let's use the easiest way which is just set the active to false like this life object current lives not active or should I say set active to false like this okay let's try remember by doing this trial and error the error will guide us to finish the project now we need to set the button on click function on click add it and set lives container uh, inside on click and the function is lives control lose life okay let's try see what happened The position is messed up but let's uh, worry about that later lose lives again and lose lives again it's still okay but if we do one more it will get an error right index was outside of the bound yeah right so let's check it if current lives bigger than zero then current lives minus by one and then set the object active to false just like that and I think we are good with this okay it's good do you follow this right now or I mess it up <laughs> let me know mm. let's cover about the bug on our previous try here when we lose lives it will become like this right and it's not the right position either we need it to be on the top right remember here we can see on our lives container and the child 
alignment is upper left that's why it's become to the left top left if we change it to upper right it will work as we want and another thing about the spacing it's because we're using child force expand so it will try to use so it will try to use additional spacing that we have because we are using 340 as the width if we remove it into 100 and uh, let's say 200 it will become better or this is the right value 220 is working right but we don't want it like that because it's not flexible so we need to work it out on our current width the solution is just turn it off like this the child for expand we didn't need this okay when we get back from the play it will reset the value so just untick it again and set it into upper right and we will get the right behavior we want let's see loose slide soft slide okay this is what we want okay now let's cover for the reset game let's make a button again just duplicate it position it below those lives and name it reset and get back to the code create the function public void reset When we reset this, we want to basically act, set active all the life objects. So just for i, sorry, for int i equals zero, i smaller than lives and i plus plus. Then life object i dot set active true and also get the current lives get back to the lives like that okay let's try this loose 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 reset Oh, it doesn't do anything it's because we didn't attach the function go to our reset button and set the on click lives control and reset okay try again loose 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 reset loose loose reset okay it's working well so this is good right Please let me know if you have some difficulty. I will try to make it clear for you. Now to make it more usable for, for other project, we can add game over event right here when the lives go to zero, right? So we can add public unity event on game over something like that unity event could not be found okay so we can add using unity engine dot events okay let that work out and in our loose lives here we already check if the life is greater than zero and so we need to check after that if the current life is zero or let's say just overprotective this way lower than zero to on game over not invoke like this go to our unity Basically, in our lives container right now, we have on game over 
and we can do anything we want here after game over invoked uh, let's say when game over it will reset the game i think it's proper so do this and the function is lives control reset okay i hope it's working try out this and okay that's great it's auto reset our lives that's it this is make this component reusable all these parameters but this is not over okay um, right now I'm using unity event but maybe in our project that we are working on is the basketball shooting maybe we will use unity action and maybe we need to change this or expand this code extends this code but it's okay for now we have another problem which is let's say we have five lives not just three let's see what happened okay again our container problem the width is fixed width okay so the solution is easy we need to calculate the width of it and then set it into our container let's do that go to our script and in our start function we can just calculate the width so mm, let's say name it life container width mm, sorry life's container width equals our lives and our object width is 100 plus by the spacing so the lives minus one because if we have three lives then we have two spacing multiply by 20 this is the width and how to set to the container we need to get our rec transform first so get component rec transform we can change it using size delta again um, this is some issue there's another way to set this but i think this is the best way and the easiest way we don't have to know anything but we still can set the width and height of this component basically just use size delta <laughs> sorry the explanation is too hard i think i don't even understand much because again it's just like the set parent it's doing something that we don't know and the explanation on the documentation is kind of um, meh anyway let's do this uh, the format is factor 2 so new factor 2 the width is life's container width and height we set it as 100 let's see if it's working okay start okay it's working good i like it that's done but if you know we have one more problem which is our width and height is fixed to 100 right this is also set into our script so to make it more flexible we need also to give field to set the width and height of course we can make it check the width and height of the life object automatically but it's not really effective i mean the effort is too much for just a simple thing so i think this is better again this is depending on what your project is and how big it is serial field private int width live width 
Just like that, and we can use this variable here, and there, the spacing 2, if you want. So you last fill, then private in, live spacing. Okay, now it's good. Try it again. It should work like before. Okay, it's great. But now we have the option for setting it all. How about that? Are you following me? Again, if you don't understand anything or want me to maybe explain it to you better then just tell in the command what you want to know remember this is the value just for calculating so do this if you know that your life component is this size okay it's on the making for the life component here you can set the width and height that's the value that will that you will use okay now let's make it reusable on any project basically we need to make it unity package or unity assets um something like that so we can just drag the lives container as a prefab right here and maybe you won't make it more tidy by using a folder lives control just say it like that and drag this like that okay open the lives container and this is our main goal so right click here and export package This is what will be exported. I don't think we need the tutorial info. Let's uncheck it. Yeah, we don't need this. Export this tree here and let's name it lives control unity packets. Okay, save it. Now you have it. This is the package that we can use anywhere. Let's say we want to use it on our current project. Remove the last container. And we need to remove this first. So it doesn't exist. Right click, import package, custom package. And these are Unity package open. See? It will import this lives control with our object here. Import it. There you go. It will make our lives folder, lives control folder, sorry, just like how we organize these files. So you better use folder for this. And we can just drag our lives container. Let's see where it is. Okay. It's also using the right anchor and pivot because it's our prefab and it already set up with our settings. But we need to set our button again because basically the button is removed, right? Just drag to the on click and set the lives control to lose lives and this one to the reset. Let's play and try it if it's working well or not. Okay, it's working. Lose lives and reset automatically because our prefab do that. 
we already set it like that and reset it also working that's it do you learn much today if yes please subscribe like and comment uh, and don't forget to ask if you don't understand later on we will use this component for our project which is basketball shooting thank you for watching see you in the next video